Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? Good Very good. Oh, uh, well, where are you from, Mike? I'm from New York originally. New York originally. And um, you, you were disabled, like we heard from our, our friend down the street. Yeah, I got some medical issues. No, no, I was a sand hog for 17 years, tunnel yeah. workers, uh -huh. and uh, I was a 9-11 responder. They took all the construction workers from down at 9-11 and they reclassified us as second responders. Mm -hmm. So they cut us out of the John Droga bill, so we're not entitled to the benefits that a lot of the members of service are getting. So I'm going through the 9-11 responder program at Mount Sinai and been fighting for my disability. Mm -hmm. You know, they keep saying that I got a work history, so I'm retrainable. But I got a cardiac condition, I got osteomyelitis in my left foot, I'm going to lose 30% of my foot. Uh, I got some lung issues, post-traumatic stress disorder, I'm bipolar, and I, they keep denying me my disability. What yeah. I paid into, what I think I'm entitled to, you know, yes. I paid, they took my taxes out. I, I lost 20 years of marriage behind this, my house. You know, I, I had a home up in Dutchess County in Stormville. I've been yeah. on the street for almost 11 years. Yeah. Some people that are out here that have a big heart, uh -huh. You know, that'll stop by and help you. There's a lot of people who assume things, mm -hmm. you know, like for instance, that we're all drug addicts and alcoholics. Yeah, I haven't drank since 1996, uh -huh. and I don't do drugs. Uh -huh. I can't afford it. Are Nobody you... will stop by and say, hey, what happened to you? Yeah. They just make accusations as they walk by, you know. I understand. Well, I'm, originally, I'm from the Bronx. The Bronx. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I had good times, you know, in, in, that I remember, you know, playing handball. Handball. Know, yeah. Well, I, I'm trying to get some, some paint jobs, you know. I mean, I can paint, yeah. you know what I mean? But, to go into somebody's home to try to get a paint job, you know, if you've been sleeping on the street, just don't cut it. Don't don't assume that somebody's out here doing something that they're not doing. Say, what, what happened to you? you know, don't make comments walking by without the facts, because I don't know how you become successful, but I got guys that own businesses that make comments to me, and, what, and I don't know how they became so successful without knowing the facts. This is not an easy thing to sit out here, man, and you know, hold your head up, man, and degrade yourself every day, man, and have to beg for something in order to survive. Are you, Mike, are you usually here between 18th, 19th, and Broadway? Every day. Okay. Every day, seven days a week. <laughs> you guys know where to come to visit uh, friend Mike over here. All right, thank you very much, Mike. All right, man, thanks.